Well, let's talk about the show Lost. When it got to season four, I gave up. I was frustrated with the show because it was just too many um, unanswered questions. And there seems to be more and more questions just piling up with what already was there. Now, you might get an answer to something, but then two more questions would show up. And it got very frustrating because I didn't know what was going on. You know, I was lost. Perfect title for the show. Then um, I was watching a show, and I can't remember what it was, some movie. And in the movie, they were talking about loss and how it was done. You know, that it was finished. The show, you know, had all the seasons they were going to have. And I go like, whoa, is this true? Or are they just making this up in the movie? I can't remember what movie it was. So anyway, um, I went and looked, and sure enough, it was finished. So I decided, okay, let's finish it. And, I, you know, so funny, because I, I went on doing things and forgot about the show. I just figured somebody would remind me or something, you know, and I would get back to it. But I still like the show. It's just, it was frustrating. Okay? So, you know, you have these people stuck on the island and stuff, and, the, and there was all sorts of weird things, you know. A horse appeared, then it would disappear. The black smoke monster, which... I thought it was actually um, like a spirit of all the people that died on the island. I was wrong on everything, okay? On every damn bit of it. It's not a show that you can basically use your hunches on. You can't you can't figure it out. I mean, at least for me. And, uh, you know, those numbers kept appearing and stuff like that. I like Sawyer, uh, Sawyer and I like Jack. I liked all the characters, you know, Hugo. But uh, it was very frustrating, the show was. And when I got back to watching it, I'm going, like, oh, wow, that's the reason why? Oh, wow. I never thought they were going to go into this, these two guys that basically can live forever as long as they stay on the island, you know, um, which was weird. I mean, they were like kind of like gods, demigods or something like that. And now with one of them, the man in black could actually, you know, he was the one that was the smoke. I never saw it going there. You know what I mean? But I was satisfied by the time the show was done and I watched all the episodes, I was satisfied. I mean, yeah, it was like far-fetched and I'm going like, wow, okay, so these people were picked and their destiny was to be there. It was, wow. I mean, it just like blew me away. And uh, yeah, I was satisfied with the ending. Some people weren't. Um, I was, I thought it was great. I'm just glad because I really thought that there wasn't going to be enough answers. I thought I thought that by the end of the show, it was going to be like sliders or it was going to be like Quantum Leap. It was going to be something like that where you're going to be left with a uh, you know cliffhanger and it wasn't. They did a good job of satisfying everybody's questions. It was just far-fetched though, you know. Like the one episode where Jack and the woman was off the island. You're going like, well, how did that happen? Did they dream? You know. And so you found out finally what happened, how they got off the island, and they were trying to get back on the island. Anyway, wow. As far as, that's like, you know, a really twisted plot. I mean, if you really think about it, it's really twisted, but it was it was good. I mean, it was. I, I hated Ben, though, because he kept, you know, capturing somebody or torturing somebody and one minute he would be good the next minute he would be bad and at the very end you saw where he didn't go in the church because he knew he was bad and he knew that he didn't deserve to go I guess that was supposed to represent going to heaven I don't know it was a great it was a great show uh, very clever but I just wish they hadn't had so many um, questions you know what I mean I'm not going to say loopholes, but questions. Yeah, you know, you you might, it take like five or six episodes before they eventually, you know, you catch up and figure out what's going on. So anyway, in the comments below, if you watched that show, let me know what you thought of it. Uh, was it confusing? Did you give up and not watch it for a while? I did. But that was cool because I got to watch them all in a row. I found a place online where you can watch all the episodes, and so I just... I didn't have to wait for no reruns. I just watched them one after another, and I'm going like, okay, yeah, now I see where you're going. Wow. All right. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good one, and God bless.